I may not be able to complete all my points, but a very important point as far as implication, the implications of Tawheed in human life is concerned. We always look forward for a profession. And today, the world thinks the best profession is a doctor. Next, maybe engineer or IT, etc. And my mother wanted me to be a heart specialist. I was inspired by Sheikh Dida, most of you know about it. I chose to become a doctor because it was the best profession. But after meeting Sheikh Dida, I realized that the best profession is not a doctor. The best profession is that of a dai, calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusila, chapter 41, verse number 33, وَمَنْ أَحْسُنُ قَالَ مِنْ مَنْ دَعِي لَلَّهِ وَعَمِلُ صَالِحُ وَقَالَ إِنَّ لِمِنْ مُسْلِمِينَ Who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, walks righteousness and says that I'm a Muslim. So the best profession is of a dai. What was the profession of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Doctor? Engineer? IT? He was a dai. Messenger of Allah. And after the messengers of Allah have gone, they will not come. It is the dais who get the people, call the people to Allah. Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 104, that let there arise out of your band of people that invite people to the truth and prevent them from doing what is wrong. One of the main important implications of Tawheed in human life is Dawah. And Allah gives the master key for Dawah. Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 64, Allah says, O people of the book, come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah, na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. That we associate no partner with him. That we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. And if they turn back, we are We witness that we are Muslims bowing over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This verse of the Quran according to me is the master key for dawah. Come to common terms. So when you are doing dawah with the non-Muslim, you should come to common terms. And the most important is Allah. Na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. Tawheed. I tell to all my da'i students, while doing dawah, you can start with science and with history, no problem. But your main focus should be Tawheed. If you cannot remove the shirk from the life of that non-Muslim, your dawah is useless. You may convince him alcohol is haram, you may convince pork is haram, he may stop his adultery, he may stop his riba, but he does not stop shirk, your dawah is useless. He will not go to Jannah. So as a dai, your main aim should be Tawheed. You can start with commonalities, science, no problem, but your main aim should be Tawheed. If you do not instill Tawheed and remove the shirk, from the non-Muslim of Dawah is useless. And the most important surah, the concept of Tawheed is Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Pull who Allah ad, says Allah one and only. Allah who samad, Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yilad wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam yakullahu kuffanat, there's nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is given in the glorious Quran. Any person saying so and so candidate is God, if that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. Number one, say is Allah one and only. Number two, Allah Samad, Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yirad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. This is the touchstone of theology. Surah Ikhlas is the litmus stone of theology. In identifying Allah, this is the litmus test. It is the touchstone of theology. And doing dawah is a fard in Islam. Surah Al-Asr, according to Imam Shafi. If this surah alone was revealed, it would have been sufficient for Hidayah. Allah says in Surah Asr, chapter number 103, verse number 1 to 3. I would like to end my talk with the surah. Wal Asr. By the token of time, man is verily in a state of loss, except those who have faith, those who have righteous deed, those who exhort people to truth, and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance. There are minimum four criteria for any human being to go to Jannah. Number one, Iman. Number two, righteous deed. Number three, watawasa bil haq, that is dawah and islah. And number four, watawasa bil sabr, inviting people to patience and perseverance. You may be a very good Muslim. You may be offering five times salah. You may be giving zakat. You may be fasting in the month of Ramadan. You may have gone for hajj. But if you don't do dawah, 
According to Surah Al-Asr, you shall not enter Jannah. If Allah wants to forgive you and put you in Jannah, that's Allah's prerogative. Allah's prerogative. But under normal circumstances, if you don't do Dawah, you will not enter Jannah. You have to be minimum part-time Dai. But the best is a full-time Dai. I'd like to end my talk. The implication of Tawheed in human life. The best profession, Allah says in Surah Fusilat, chapter 41, verse number 33, and my talk, Woman has to call a mimman boy in law. Wamil Soli Hong, Wakala in the Nimusimin, who is better in speech than one who invites to the way of thy Lord, walks righteousness and says that I am a Muslim. Wakhru Dawan, Alhamdulillah, Bilalami.